But oh we got our game. It is a best of five quarterfinal. Winner of this face is Lin and Colorful. And Infi, indeed, with Human, that was their winning combo last month, where they won the final. And 15 Sway and Shao Kai, as expected, also Night Elf Orcs. So we are on Synergy, a very unique map in a sense that you just start next to your opponent, your neighbors, basically. That's cool. You're not so alone. You know, when I'm playing 1v1, every time I just start on the map alone or myself, need to Aww. figure out how to play the map. And they can actually talk to each other. They can think about creep routes. Uh, we already see an Ancient of War of 15 Sway near the laboratory so uh it's a demon hunter on 15 sway side am i correct i, I don't think know. so yeah i would uh, be quite surprised if not this is of course kind of cool because you can share moon wells you can share shops uh, an arcane tower can cover both bases so maybe the orcs are a little more safe in comparison to what you usually see and uh obviously there's no no split pushing going on, so I would expect um, tier 3, big armies, and then there's these choke points in the middle, and usually you try to find a position where you're favored and the opponent team is not, and then we have the big 2-2 uh, two two fights here. But yeah, so far you're correct, Demon Hunter, and fast here it is. Nice. So he wants to get a quick level 2 Demon Hunter. Big spot, by the way, like three Wisps need to <laughs> repair this Ancient of War. And uh, yeah, the poisoned uh, creep gets done immediately, so he can creep it a bit better. And if he goes for the Merc Cam, so interesting to see what kind of Mercs do we get here? That is a very good question. I have uh, very few limits in my Warcraft 3 casting, you know that, but <laughs> <laughs> the Mercenary Camps, dude, I'm so lost. I know the original one, the red one, but all the others are a big mystery to me. Okay, so these uh, look like the, the mercs from springtime, so I think there's a berserker in it, a mud golem as well, and an ogre, so it's just, I think that should be right, and uh, yeah, I think it's very interesting to see how they creep together here, they want to finish creep camps very fast, we got the big heal on Infi's side, good item, um, I think to get like, survivability on the Mountain King later on, or with, with the Art Mage if he wants to play aggressive. Oh, nice little creep deck. Oh, the Demon Hunter needs to be careful here. I... Alright, could pass... Uh... I don't know, he, he doesn't have any consumables just yet, but yeah, that's pretty aggressive play by Fly and Infi already. Also, both teams are roaming together, uh, no split creeping, just pretty map control heavy, and I Infi and Fly get the shot. Yeah, that's it's huge here. Like, uh, oh, it's claws plus eight. Wow, good items for the armage. And uh, they just steal the uh, the goblin shop creep camp here. But yeah. What did give for here? The cat on the mic for no. Let's say well. for now. But the wolf is still hungry. Wolf is still chasing. Shao Kai got the last hit on the ogre mage eye with the chain lightning. So levels for Infi and Fly not the greatest. Second hand hunter also down. Um. It looked like Infi and Fly had the upper hand with that positioning, but in the fight itself, Demon Hunter is cleaning house. Yeah. Uh, still, I think it's very good that uh, if he got the item, I think uh, Claws plus 8 on the Demon Hunter right now would be huge as well. Um, but it, I think it's equalized now. Um, they killed two Headhunters, um, but Infi and Fly decide um, to pressure. Still, I think they want to go for the next shop and um, try to get as many creep cans as, as, as they can get here. Yeah, no expansions here yet. They're pretty heavy protected and easily rushable. So we'd rather expect that later when tier two is finished and everybody is attacking. So no crazy mass tier one rushes, rather brawling. And Shao Kai gets the second Magi as well, stacking up on items quite nicely. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, oh nice, also got the last kill here uh, on the level 3 creep. And uh, still, we got defense now, and in the last hit, I think this went for, go, went for Infi and uh, Fly side here, but I think still, it's kind of equal. Um, the item go went for the Farsi, I think it was, it's the circlet, right? Yeah. Yep. Think, yeah, circlet. So, um, yeah, I think... Actually, very, very cool early game. Both sides uh, tried to get 
as many creeps as they can get. Oh, Klaus plus four. Man, this guy. This, the fireballs get very hot right now. <laughs> uh, that's what dreams are made of. Yeah. So we're unfolding tier two. I don't really know what to expect. Like a human in your team is always great because of the heroes and priests, I think. Because every second hero is great. You got the paladin with aura. You got a blood mage where Infi is, I think, a big fan of. Because uh, siphon mana onto a shadow hunter is just so good. Uh, but also mountain king can be fantastic if you get into the front row and can clap away. Um... So I'm curious what Infi is going for, but first they're going for the the base of Shao Kai and 15 Spain. Got some sweet kills. Yeah, and I think they got a bit of a problem because uh, like Footman with defense just uh, counters everything they have right now. Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> True. I, I asked you like, do they play headhunters? Yep. <laughs> yes, they do. It it, it seems like so. Uh, oh, another ultra kill here. So uh, the piercing damage is uh, actually not doing. It lot against the footman with defense and that yeah is a problem in a way that they cannot fight now anymore so they need to split up need to, to get creep camps as many as they can get now um yeah and fly and iffy they they are just they stick together right they are running together yeah. over the map and i think they are going for the next uh, creep jack here Maybe they're expecting an expansion. Ooh, bottom second. Interesting choice. I mean, you're operating with a lot of range for now with headhunters and archers, etc. In the long run, it will benefit the headhunters a lot, but you gotta be uh, careful not to lose all of them. Infi calling militia across the map. Very atypical timing. And Blood Mages here are gonna uh, get rid of mana and fuel the Archmage, so more water elementals. Chao Kai and 15 Sway are in trouble. Yeah, the only thing they have against the Footman is uh, Chain Wave and Chain Lightning. Um, and I think Infi just realized, hey, they have just piercing damage at Footman. And yeah. Footman are very strong now. Maybe later they are bad, but now we can do a timing push. And even if we're not killing them, we will get some good trades here. Oh my god, they're just demolishing poor 15 sways base right now uh shao kai is stuck at the fountain where he wants to heal a little bit but creeps were still there towers coming up and shao kai and 15 sway were both checking to tier 3 which is kind of normal on this map but infian fly said nope our rules we dictate the pace and 15 sway shao kai definitely not ready wow they're just like <laughs> It, it, I don't know. They're just running over with with some militia, tower rushing this poor night elf, um, having some nice items on the art mage, lots of damage, priest additionally to heal up the footman. Now finally, um, uh, uh, Chao Kai is TPing and nice chain wave, but the demon hunter needs to be careful. Might die here. Nah, he can escape. But uh, I think this push is very deadly here right now. Yeah, 15 Sway is on 14 food. That TC, he spent a lot of time creeping it up and now he's dead, so no more chain wave here. We got more range, we got more mercs, we got the casters, we got a person who's not locked into Battle.net. <laughs> That's the first time I'm seeing this. And Fly's tier 3 is done as well, so I don't see any way out here for Shao Kai and 15 Sway. I'm a bit confused because Playing mass piercing damage against a human with footman is very greedy. But, yeah. Um, I, I'm not know not a lot about 2v2, but with a, when I play this and I see like it just headhunters and archers and have footman, I would be like, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's have a good game right now. Yeah, it's, it's perfect for, for easy. Maybe they thought with wolves and AoE attacks they could survive this and a demon hunter can bring the extra damage because the early, early fights. Weren't too bad for 15 Sway and Shao Kai, but once the Blood Mage is here and the Shadow Hunter, there's just not stopping them anymore. Plus the Mercs on top of it. Uh, very, very easy game for Fly and Infi, who are not going by the norm of this matchup and not going for uh, Tier 3, which we usually see on Synergy, but exploit a crazy timing and win the map. I mean, this was very situational, in my opinion. Um... So, yeah, they just saw the mass piercing damage and they knew, okay, come on, we have a timing right here. Let's yeah. let's just push. Yeah. Let's just not go for the late, late game. Let's let's punish them for that. 
And yeah, they did. <laughs> they just went over. <laughs> they tower rushed uh, like both um, immediately. So um, I think like Infine um, fly. They just. I mean, obviously, they're very good at this game. They just know. Um, okay, that's greedy. Let's punish it. And yeah. I think other players would be maybe more careful. Would maybe just creep and wait, and then maybe the power spike for uh, 15 Sway and Shao Kai comes up. But um, yeah, fly and if you just knew, okay, come on, they they are bad now. So, so we push them and kill them. That's the beauty about humans in two and two. I think they're very strong if you go for a tier two timing, as we just saw. Uh, you could also pair that with Rifleman, but you also have a strong late game if you include a Paladin, if you include Knights, if you include Mortar teams. It's all very good and very flexible, so I said it last month, I think you need to have a human on your team, and Infian Fly show again why. You, I understand. I need to play to v two. It's okay. We don't need to. Just, <laughs> okay, uh, to just, just, this. just, you know, um, trying to make a cause. And <laughs> of course, uh, I, I'm on my agenda again to to tell everybody how strong human is always <laughs> in any game mode. Okay, okay, I, I got it. I got it. Um, no, but it, it was a good lesson. Uh, as I said, I don't play too many two v twos, um, but I already knew that Orc human is very cool, and Infi and Fly showed how you can play it and. Uh, yeah, when I play with Starbuck, uh, obviously uh, that's one thing you can do. You can punish your opponent if he's, um, yeah, not strong at the moment and uh, tower rush at them. Um, that's very cool to see, and um, I'm very excited how now uh, 15 Sway and uh, Chao Kai will adapt because if they play the same, I think um, Fly and if he will just punish it again. Yeah, also because the map is. Uh, similar to Synergy, you start really close to each other. It's usually a very late game centric uh, map in Tidewater Glades. They have to come up with something, that's for sure. I don't know how flexible they are in their strategies. Whenever I see them, it was usually a lot of tier 3. Can they queue in a rush like Pato and Starbuck did yesterday to break the timing of Infi and Fly? Uh, it, it's it's more about the brain and less about the execution at the moment, I think. Yeah. Add about Chao Kai's gold chain. Yes, <laughs> that effect <laughs> on the picture, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, this guy is rich. Uh, rich of uh, Walker 3. Um, yeah, I mean, um, I'm very uh, interested in how they will adapt now because that's the beauty of Walker 3. Uh, you have a lot of chances. If I lose a game, I know, okay, I can do better. I can do the same mistakes. Or my opponent knows I will change up and sh switches up as well. Lots of mind games going on. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully they find a better early game. And um, yeah, the last game showed us this is uh, not the way to go, to f go for mass archers and headhunters. I think they need to add grunts or huntresses, but I think... Um, yeah, maybe just runs, maybe a bit better front line, and then, yeah, try to control the map a bit better. Yeah, that could work. Uh, Shao Kai, he was an undead before, and he switched, like, I don't know, four years ago or something. I don't know if he ever played Blade Master and Grunts. And Farseer Grunts, I don't know how strong that is. Mm, I don't know if he even knows the build order. <laughs> Yeah, well, that will be a problem <laughs> for sure. Um, but <laughs> hopefully, he can make it happen. Um, I think Blade Master Grunts is very good. Maybe with Shadow Hunter second, having some control on the front line. Um, but yeah, Blood Mage second, not that easy um, to control this army of Infium Fly. If uh, yeah, he has banished maybe or goes for Fire Strike and so on. Uh, there are so many options as a human, as you already said. Um, so the more I think about it the, the better it will be for me in a 2v2 because uh <laughs> so many options you know it you is stuff, yeah yeah you also have an archmage of course like this combo of blood mage and shadow hunter there's just so much healing they're not losing any units if they control it well and i've yet to see someone really break that combo um before we go into the game we should be going into the game soon there is an option on this map for some reason don't ask me why uh, that the orc goes shadow hunter pit lord. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Pretty cool. 
I like it. Cleave on the whole army yep. immediately. Imagine two pit lords. Like imagine that way. Ooh, like imagine like the plus twelve claws. Just, just give it to um, the pit lords. And I like. I really like the pit lord. It's so it's such a pain to to, to fight against this guy. But uh, yeah. We'll I was about like, to nice say, to should I should, uh, should I play a scene from your game versus Sheik? Uh, Come on, <laughs> bro! Hold on, will this will this <laughs> this will follow me my whole in, entire life now, right? If I talk about the pit lord, you will send me a replay of, oh, look at this! How was that actually on Hammerfall against Sheik? Yes, it was great. Thank you very much for asking. Thanks, Neo. Okay, okay, I won't bring it up today anymore. But, it was uh, painful, okay? okay Everything died so, all the time. Yeah, I saw that. I had a great time. I know, I know. Hopefully you enjoyed it. <clears throat> all right, what do we got? Fly and Infi on the northern side. Once again, a headhunter build. I think we can assume they have no reason to switch anything up. Um, the strategy works on Synergy as well as on Tidewater Glades. And it's clearly up to Shao Kai and 15th Sway to switch it up. But so far... Basia Demon Hunter, exactly as the game before. So, I think on this map it's not common to go for an expansion, right? Because it's very uh, hard to get an expansion done here uh, from the positioning, which I see here right now. But is it common to go for an expansion still? Oh, Shadow Hunter first. Here we go, Neo with the calls. Um, oh my god. <laughs> so, if you survive the early tier 2 fights... You might see an expansion, um, but no fast expansion. That is, I think that is impossible. But on other maps, they do it, or is, or is it just not possible anymore because there's too many counters? I, I see it less and less. Some people tried, but you can be punished relatively easily um, with just a combined push. That's mm. us usually too much. Maybe they squeeze it in, but they are rather one base players, I'd say. Okay, okay. Good to know. So, we have, we have, we have a uh, Shadow uh, Hunter now. And I don't still don't know what he skilled. Because... Ah, she chain. Uh, he chain. Uh, how is it called? Heal Wave. Hey, you Wave! My god. <laughs> People understand. Play this game? How do I... <laughs> <laughs> yep, um, 20 years. Doesn't matter, man. <laughs> ah, come on, bro. Uh, I don't know anything. Um, yeah, so, okay. So you will have a level 3 Shadowhunter uh, early. Or we'll try to have it so he has a lot of sustain. And the good thing about the human is he has brilliant aura. So lots of mana as well. Um, yeah, they just creep together. I like to see this. And uh, what would you say is uh, the biggest strength uh, of uh, Shadowhunter first? Um, it is healing, of course. He's not... Uh, great damage dealer. Um, I think you need a Shadow Hunter in two and two. Um, also, with Hex later could be good. Could support a timing push with Serpent Wards after. Now that I think about it, um, but the synergy of human mana and the healing power of a Shadow Hunter is just crazy good. Yeah. Okay. That sounds awesome to me. Yeah, I, I mean, imagine also... uh, you have a damage dealer as your pit lord. In the front row, who's also a mega tank, and you heal him with he heal wave all the time. And once you run out of mana, which is hard because you have an archmage next to you, there's a blood mage, and he's feeding you more mana, and then there's more healing, and then there's a better healthy pit lord, and he does more damage, and then that's game. Okay, okay, I'm excited to see that. It's, so they played this before, or yeah, yes, they did. yeah, Fly okay. played it before, yeah. Okay, 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 nice. I played against him on, on in one v one, and he played it as well. So it's also strong there. Um, so we have still, again, a very hot fireball from the armage. The items are nuts, to be honest. Um, at first fight here, the demon hunter tries to do some damage to the uh, footman, but nice heal wave here. Um, demon hunter needs to be careful a bit, not to get damaged too much. But I think this fight again. I mean, they didn't change anything about their composition. I think this is looks very good for Infi to play again. Yeah, they're, they're doubling down on the piercing damage with a big berserker, uh, which is pretty common on this map. Oh, focus, Demon Hunter. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. You can't finish the game. I want to see the Pit Lord. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, bro. Jesus. Just survive. At least. Getting oh, five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> 
wow, this is. Uh, I, but I, I, I don't know why they just didn't mess headhunter and archers. I think they should have switched up something here, um, because like this, you know, they just win the fights over the creep camps, and I already see like Uffy uh, warming his hands up um, to get some guard towers in the opponent's base. So. Ooh, yeah. Oh, there is the Pit Lord. There we go. We don't know what name it is. Because, uh, you know, Chinese, but there he is. Okay, sweet. We also got a big mana potion on the Shadow Hunter. Um, this is not looking too great, but we go for Fly's base because he's the one taking to tier 3 and rather vulnerable. Uh, they go for the Burrows, I guess. Nice. I'm sure the Pit Lord's called Gogonash. Very sure. Um... So he will be ready for this. But this TP, a bit underwhelming to yep. Footman, but it's enough. Um, yeah, nice call. He wants to make sure the Burrows will not get killed. So uh, Fly is not supply uh, stuck. And uh, Naga second here. And Turtle Hunter second for Shao Kai. So yeah, I mean, it's already a better game than the last game. So mm -hmm. um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, Gogo Nash. Whoa. Hey, just him. Oh, nice aura here. Red spot, what the hell? Yo, um, that's a bit of a problem. Look, this is an uncontested red spot for Fly? Really? Can creep this just like this? I mean, this is big. I mean, I talked about how strong Shadowhunter and Pitlord can be, but this is surprising me as well. Infi is just protecting at home, being close to the bases. But on the other side, I think they're doing the red spot as well, or is that the natural? I think that's natural, right? Yeah. yeah it's natural. So, um, meanwhile, uh, Chao Kai suffers here with uh, Infi contesting him, and uh, yeah, Fly is just having a good time listening to music. Meanwhile, I, th I guess, and just uh, now forces uh, the orc to TP or the knight up because he's going towards um, Chao Kai's base and wants to kill some Boros, I guess. Nice little interception, getting the priest, where of course the piercing damage is helpful. Also against Militia, suffering from fork lightning. Demon Hunter is getting a lot of damage done, and Fly did not go for the base. He rather portals home to defend Infi. Hmm, okay. We got a game, guys. Ring yeah, plus four, it's okay for the Gogonash. Uh, and now, um, yeah, I think he wants to do some damage, right? That's what he's made for. Infi with a very very slow expansion. I mean, he had a he had a peasant there already. Why not try if you are not attacking to tier three anyway? Tier three for sh fifteen sway is done. Tier three for fly is done. That pit lord. Oh my god! He got the claws. He got the gloves. He got the ring of protection and devotion aura. This pit lord is never gonna die. Oh my god! Look at this. Uh, these items. This is big. Um. Yeah, I think uh, we will be ready soon. Level 3 will be huge for the Pit Lord. Level 2 Cleave. Um, but yeah, if he's uh, getting attacked. But uh, yeah, I think he wants, to, wants just to finish the Red Camp fly and then he will help Infi as soon as he can. Yeah, the altar fell, but he doesn't want tier 3 anyway. He got his second hero out, that's fine. Pushing into bases seems solid so far. 15 Sway going bears. I wonder if Mountain Giants would have been better. Look at the item, like, of the uh, Pit Lord. Is it a dragon? That's yes, the they have dragon. a dragon. And this other summon was is a bad one, right? You can that's, just mana burn. That's the, yeah, that's, that's the, the mana burn dog. Oh my god. Yeah, underwhelming. No. That's good. Okay, I think now they soon are ready for a fight. Oh my god, I'm so excited to see the damage output of this uh, Pit Lord. Yep. Really. <laughs> oh my god. This looks heavy. Also against raiders, against headhunters. Oh, Archmage gets caught. Infi, does, he does have a TP, but Banish is there to the rescue for now. Reposition, heal wave for almost double the value. And that wow. push is stopped. Beautiful death with a Shadowhunter. <clears throat> Just one hero staffed and it's fine, you know? Yep. Then the, the, the damage was uh, banished. Then uh, heal wave uh, was very effective. Uh, with the healing and if he's just building a tunnel with one peasant i like this he's patient you know he says like i don't need it quickly um and yeah on the other side we see bears <clears throat> so 
Yeah, what is he even playing, by the way? Is he playing... Uh, ah, Sorks, Priest? That's all. Alright. Yeah, mass um, casters. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Spellbreakers will be the next, I think, right? Ooh, yo, this would be great. Especially against bears. Against mountain giants, they don't do too much. But against bears, Spellbreakers are fantastic. Uh, also, won't be affected by Chain Lightning, Port Lightning. Fly is creeping up a storm. This is so scary. Oh my god. This is... Oh my god. This will be... <clears throat> I just want to see this guy um, shopping his way through. It's so effective because because you have such a big army and he will hit so many units. Yep. It will be huge here. I mean, the Naga can control him a little bit, but that's about it. There's no slow, no cripple, no curse. He do. Nothing, I guess. So now we see the fight, I guess. Come on, I'm excited. Yes, come on, pity. Go to the front line. <laughs> a little bit of a split push. Didn't expect that. Uh, Shao Kai, very, very raider heavy. Infi forced to deal with that without too much to do. I mean, he has slow, that helps. Fly has to fight the Night Elf on his own. Hmm. I don't. I think they don't want to fight. I mean, if you have so many raiders, you're just about to hope for, I think, lots of human base traits. But we see the first fight here. I, I'm totally wrong. Uh, the pit lord is um, shopping his way through here. Uh, still not that strong, but I think. Oh wow! Nice Ooh. focus fire on the pit lord, and he needs to use his invuln right now. Uh, but still, I think. Wow! Look at the damage now. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, kind oh. of crazy. We're getting into 6,000 damage territory. Every hit is like 75 and he's not even hitting too much. Nice little sandwich by Shao Kai. Banish on the Pit Lord. Needs some healing soon. Shadow Hunter, go to work. There we go. Heal Ward in the back was dispelled once, but now it's back up. And these raiders, man, they just can't fight anything, really. <laughs> it looks so weird. He's like just catching reinforcements and fights against three water elementals and struggling. <laughs> um, meanwhile, the other army is just demolishing Infi's way here. Um, but yeah, um, as we thought, the Pit Lord is very strong. He's uh, showing up uh, very heavy here. Yeah, he did like two and a half thousand damage that fight alone with Cleave. And once again, the synergy of the banished Shadow Hunter and Pit Lord combo. Shao Kai is finding better openings, so they clearly thought about how they can fix the issue of game one. But I don't know if that will help him in the late game. I don't like this Farseer must Raider thing, um, because I think if you go for that, you should go for lame uh, strategy, right? You go for the, the Town Hall, you TP out, meanwhile 15th Sway has some space to work with. But just attending a fight on the right side and fighting Water Elementals with Raiders, um, in, uh, you know, I, I I don't like this too much. Uh, it's, not, it's it's not the best synergy with uh, Night of's army. So I think uh, Shao Kai needs to make sure he's creating some space now. Goes for the town hall, and then we can talk about uh, fights. But it, I don't know. I'm I'm curious if if maybe Shao Kai is going for it right now. Yeah, they really don't have that much time. Infi's expo is up and mining. Fly also gets a tiny, so they will have. Four bases very, very soon. I just assume that there's pillage running, but I don't... Oh, yeah. It is up. We see it upper left. And the pit lord is going to work again. Yeah. And meanwhile, Chokai, as I said, tries to lay, but it's way too late. I think he should have done it in the last fight. Not attempting it, maybe. Letting 15 Sway be a bit of a threat to the expansion. But now he's finally going for the base straight a bit. But I don't know, he cannot stay here. Sorks will slow everything. Uh, Shokai needs to retreat. And the expansion of 15 Sway will be now. Oh my god, I think he's stuck here. He has no TP, right? True. And that against the Pit Lord. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Howl of Terror. They catch the Shadow Hunter, but forces a TP after the TP. Lots of portaling. And Expo stays up. Not bad. Infi now. Inf Punching distance, but got a retreat. He's supply blocked and too low at the moment. But it's still four bases versus three. Yeah. And those ra raiders look underwhelming to me. Yeah. I, th I don't know. It, it didn't work at all. I think he needs to do a big punch, right? G killing a town hall, okay, that's fine. 
but uh, everything else, I mean, look at the Raiders, just slowed, running away. And I mean, when I play against Raiders, Mass Raiders, when I play human, they struggle killing a peasant or a priest or a sorc or anything. Um, they're just good at killing buildings. And I feel like Shao Kai didn't go to that kind of move that he went for some killing. So now if he will just push 15 squares expansion, and even though on the, on the other side, uh, Shao Kai is trying to cancel Fly's expansion, they will be ready to TP soon once they killed uh, 15 squares. Uh, yeah, do they have TPs? I think Fly oh, might have used it already. Infi's certainly coming. Or oh, maybe Fly doesn't have a TP. He had to buy one. That's a bit of time. They do get the tiny Great Hall. Lots of Banish, but the bears are here with a roar. Now the big question is, at what cost? Yeah, that's good for them, actually. Now they <laughs> Infi's alone, and there's no TP coming. So, wow, they get... Wow, nice kill on the Blood Mage. Wow, very, very well played here. And then, now the Art Mage, but it has an Invuln. And finally, Fly uh, arrives, so he, they m might have a chance here, but now we have the pit lock. Where is he? That's so far behind. I don't know if he went shopping or something. He got an invo potion. Needs to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the paladin, their brothers in arms. <laughs> Needs to counter the roar with Howl, but yo, Pitlord finds the way into the back. And of course, reinforcements arrive way faster for Infi and Fly. Yeah, I mean, now the Pitlord is just <laughs> dominating the Knight of Army. Oh my God. Uh, but still, they fight well. Uh, it's looking better than I thought, um, but still. Um, yeah, the Pitlord has an Invuln. He will use it soon. Heal Wave as well. Dude, the overlay is displaying damage per hit now, which I didn't see before. This Pit Lord hits for 180 damage every hit. <laughs> oh my god. And it's not even level god. 5. Oh my god. That's so big. I mean, yeah, that's a great strategy. I mean, as a human player, you cannot help the uh, Pit Lord with the Paladin, right? That's a, true. Um, not that good, but uh, actually very cool that they. That he can be healed by the heal wave and banish so this is a big upgrade but yeah i think this is not not looking good here for 15 squares uh, so no the demon hunter was killed again raiders are aiming for the lumber mill which is uh an interesting choice i guess just next tiny all right we got spikes we got towers this should be safe as well 15 sways i think expanding in the bottom right again but i mean in the, in the super late game, what's supposed to stop Infi and Fly? I don't, I don't see a way out. I don't see anything either. I think uh, I can just tell you Raiders are not the way to go. Um, <laughs> Yo. You're using them like this. I think you can use them, but um, if I play against Raiders, it's, it's heavy if he gets good kills on the buildings, pillage and so on, and then build something behind it, but just staying on Raiders, and they are now invisible. Oh, Very cool sweet play by it. Infi and Fly, of course. Yeah, the question is, what do you do? Like, against the Pit Lord, you, you want to go oh. mass air, maybe, because he can't hit them, but then there's also so many water elementals and headhunters. There's no easy counter to this. So, they decided to go for laming, then they need both to do that, in my opinion. So they need to avoid fights. They need to go for um, resource, resource advantages. Advantages. Yeah. Advantages. Uh, advantages. My God, this word is so hard. Um, this language, right? Then, <laughs> yeah. My God. God damn it. I struggle, I struggle hard. Um, but yeah, but I think also if you want to control it in a fight um, as an orc player and so on, I think you need a good front line. You need a blade mask. You need hero focus. You need lots of damage. They had a Naga, a Demon Hunter. I think a Blade Master, a Shadow Hunter as well. They need to do something about the Pit Lord. Um, and obviously make sure the Shadow Hunter has not too much mana. But this is not that easy to count in my opinion. Yeah, especially when your Demon Hunter falls in the first fight of the game. That was clearly clearly a mistake by 15 Sway. Shao Kai's base is down. 15 Sway the only one mining. Infi and Fly back on four bases for quite some time. They catch some units here. But I doubt that will save the game. Yeah, I don't think so. That will be very rough here. Um, man, this pit lord is so oh perfect God. position for him. Ninety percent cleave. Let's go. Five hundred damage per hit. Are you kidding me? Oh my me? God! 
Close your eyes, Neo, please. Don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't too much attention. Man, what? How much damage is this? Oh my god, this is big. But oh, I mean, it's Night Elves dying, so I like it. Um, also, with Howl and Invisibility and Banish, it's really hard to get some damage done. No I way. mean, he's just killing the Farsian from behind. <laughs> like, look at this! He didn't even touch him! Didn't even touch him. He GG. Just, oh my god. He, he soaks up all the damage and he's doing so much damage and he's just not dying. Oh, and they win. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was um that that was a good pit lord. That's everything I wanted from this game. Wow. See? Uh, like I, I don't know. This is this is a great combo. Starbuck, learn how to play Shadow Hunter Pit Lord. Okay, I'm very excited to do that. I, I will I will support this pit lord with my life. <laughs> yeah, that's you. what you do. It's really good, man. Uh, I go for tier three and go for inner fire. I give him a lot more, you know, a bit of more damage, a bit more uh, armor as well. Bloodlust. Come on, bro. Give him everything. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is... That looks scary, to be honest. Um... But Infi and Fly the best to be two team at the moment, right? Yeah, uh, they won last season. I mean, they didn't play War Three Champions two and two, um, but yeah, this is this is the strongest team in WAL, that's for sure. Uh, Sock and Lawlight is also they are also very good, or are they? Yeah, not they were good? good, but I think third place last season. Hmm. Well. I think they were eliminated by TH and Lin. Once again, a human orc combo. See, there's 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 a pattern with human orc combos. <sighs> yeah, I think we got to join this stuff again. Yeah. I we, think so too. Poor Pato, though. You're kind of stealing his girlfriend. I know. That's I, what I, you I do, huh? If, when Starbuck, if, if Star <laughs> <laughs> the way I do it, bro. <laughs> uh, when Starbuck asked me, like, yeah, with two v two, I was like, yeah, I felt like a bit. It would be rude to say, yeah, yeah, no problem. Let's let's do this, and you know, uh, because I know um, he played with Carve with uh, Pato. But uh, yeah, Pato also struggles with ping and so on. Uh, mm. It felt like so. That's the only reason. Of course, know? of course, of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So match right. points for Infi and Fly, Twisted Meadows. This is the first map that is not uh, like the others. So you spawn further away. Here, split pushing was a big part of the meta. And you usually have two one-on-ones instead of a combined two and two. So this map might work a lot better for the Mass Raider style. Yeah, def definitely. Or some um, cool t tier one Mass whatever and yeah. trying to su surprise them. Because I think sometimes you need to do something new. Um, because if you, again, build Headhunters and Archers, uh, Infi and Fly just feel too comfortable. They don't need to switch up anything. I think it's a good thing to... If you see... You failed two times. Maybe you need to tra change something about your early game. Oh, you might be onto something here. We see a keeper for the first time. No demon hunter anymore. Some game tape of yesterday where Pato and Starbuck played a lot of tier one, and very successfully yeah. so. Uh, a short question: uh, When you go for uh, the tiny great hall as a non dead, can you build a hunted gold mine? No, nope. no, you just get the necropolis. Yeah. Well, that's so bad. Yeah, it is so bad. We, <laughs> poor undeads, man. I mean, we oh we God. suffer everywhere, you know. It's, uh, what from... the hell? I mean, it's so cheap normally, and you I gotta pay so much money. <laughs> All right, okay, good to know. Yeah, we implemented an item in FFA that does pretty much a tiny great hole for every race, but uh, yeah, it was a bit unbalanced for the for the poor poor undead, so we had to switch uh, it up. Yeah, that's cool. Very kind of you guys. We always uh, thrive for the best balance possible, everybody knows. <laughs> Good positioning for Infi, uh, that the laboratory is between Fly and him, so... Um, good positioning for the, him, and yeah, we see a fast here, not a Shadow Hunter, so we might not see a Pit Lord now. Uh, we see a change, as you said, we, we see a, a Keeper, but still we see Archers. I don't think we see Archers right now, right? Not that I saw, and I guess they will be tacking soon. They got the money now, so this should be fine. But yeah, we have a Farseer battle. Keeper is trying to creep, 
which is funny because he's usually the space creator. Mercenaries could come into play. But not just yet. We see a true shot aura for Infi. Fantastic. They stole the Shadow Priest. That's nice against Wolves and Treants. Yeah, that's very good. And this map is very common you for you to creep a lot and very fast. Yeah. And that's what they do. Uh, that's how I played with Scars a lot. Like just going for level 3 art match as fast as I can. And uh, yeah, um, he will be level 3 soon. If he, yeah, level 3 now has a win of mana stealing. And I think this is a timing now. He can push the Night Elf if he wants to. He can um, just creep uh, even more. Um, but I think, as I know of Infi and Fly, they like timings, and this one is a big one here. Yeah, we saw that on map one. That worked perfectly. They're well equipped here as well. Farsia didn't get anything, but doesn't really need to if you have a strong Archmage by your side. And boom, off we go to 15 Sway's base. Yeah, and I mean, this is a <laughs> very rough push. I mean, first move will fall, second one. And they still, I think we saw one grunt now from Taokai, but um, once the defense is here, uh, if he's very strong. They have to TP already. They get whisked into position against all these summons. That might be helpful. They clearly saw something like this coming uh, with the Shadow Priest and Berserkers, and they put some damage on the Archmage. TP spent, but not that much damage done. That was very good defended, in my opinion. Um... Yeah, uh, if he had no defense, so he could not really fight uh, this army. Um, so I think it's okay. I think the, uh, 15 Sway didn't lose too much here. Uh, TC second. Oh. Okay, interesting. Okay, I didn't expect that. I thought we go the Shadow Hunter route once again, but this could be crazy AoE damage if you retrain to Blizzard later. You got that, you got Chain Lightning, you got. Ch uh, wave as well maybe Infi and Fly are going for building elimination this time oh yeah uh it will be exciting to see <clears throat> what item they get here I think he got uh oh yeah rope not bad oh nice timing here on the beast carry um oh, it looks like 1v1 here right just it is going for the Boros level 3 armage oh my god this is so strong you love this timing, everybody knows. Good surround on the burrow as well, so little repair. Nice hug. And there's so many resources gone for Shao Kai when you just want to build your damn beastery. Not allowed. So smart, because uh, he forced um, Shao Kai to TP to the Night Elf. Now he knew one of them has no TP. And yeah, uh, very good timing here by the Infi. But on the other side, 15 Spice says no. Not with me, not with us. I will kill some peasants, I like that. Uh, nice reaction. And the panda second. Okay, still a blood mage on Infi's side. But yeah, this is quite some threat. Nice answer by 15 Sway. Couple of kills. Infi, oh no, Fly is coming with the portal. That's the first kill. No storm just yet, just aura. Infi is still in Shao Kai's base, making sure that there's no tier two buildings coming. Wow. Cool, cool uh, team team play here. So his mate is just coming and says, hey, I'm doing this, no problem. Just yep. be, be annoyed to the orc till forever. Uh, and that's what he's doing, just killing the headhunters. He rotates out the footman. So uh, he has a blacksmith already. I think it will be rifleman and shadow priest. And we see a fly playing TC, Farsia and Grunts. So um, yeah, they just switch up here. I like it. No tier three this time. But yeah, this lining up to be a pretty powerful tier 2 push then. Uh, Fly was able to get the beastery up and the raiders out. Infi is just so annoying. No rest for poor 15 Sway, uh, for poor Shao Kai at all. It's actually just playing what we want here. Yep. And um, that's what we do a lot in the, yeah, the normal meta as well. Oh, what a bad storm. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody saw it. Nobody saw it. Oh my, nice round here. Yeah. I don't know, he just um, deletes the orc timing here completely. Uh, yep. That was a very great play by both players here. Yeah. Nice game plan, Blood Mage, whoops, a little bit out of position, but the mana for the Stomp is gone, we saw that. 
before. Oh, we didn't. Water Elemental is out. Siphon Mana. And all that Infi needs is a little bit of heal. What can Shao Kai do? I mean, he could go tier 3 and Berserkers, but he doesn't have the resource for that either. Yeah. Um, I think the problem is that... I think we should have seen a staff from the Keeper. I think um, they should have done what um, Infi has played in the last game, where Shadow Hunter just helped out. Sometimes I think this is very strong, because then the Keeper can maybe go for Triads or whatever, or the Panda could have staffed, and he still can go for a counter push. Uh, stuff like this is, I think, very good, because um, Chao Kai is just not able to do anything. He's just trying to survive, and I think um, Infi and Fly, they are just preparing the next timing here. They have such a great time so far. Fly was creeping, level 3 TC. Didn't decide yet if Stomp or Shockwave, but we'll see it soon. And everything is healthy as well. Needs a little bit of healing on the heroes maybe, but it's only Headhunters, man. That's so sad. Yeah, and this army looks scary now. It's good timing, even though little army by, by uh, Infi. Oh no. Yeah, we have some couple of triads now. Uh, so, a little switch up by 15 square as well. But uh, it doesn't look good, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Heal scrolls use. Everything is green again. Everything slaughters poor 15 sway. AoE is way too crazy. Shockwave hits whatever it can hit. The rest is dryads. 60 food versus 90. That tells you everything you need to know. Oh my god, uh, yeah, that is a very quick 3-0, in my opinion. Yep. Uh, wow, they just never find anything in the game, I feel like. They just got owned. It never felt like that Infi and uh, Fly struggled. Crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah. GG. I think they should have gone for different op openings. Uh, when you fail so hard in the first game, and you do the same in the second game, and you fail again, I think sometimes doing something weird um greedy going for openings which are not too easy to read um yeah should be better than just doing what you did before and lose badly you will do the same so yeah, <laughs> that's <GG>. right <laughs> yeah maybe they are a little, little limited uh by only being able to go fast yeah headhunter on shao kai's side but it's also infi and fly it's two geniuses of this game and of course throughout their career they're mostly focused on one on one, but now there's an incentive to go for two and two and to learn. And last month in the early rounds, everything was crazy, e everything was super tier three heavy. And now, one month later, Infiant Fly come up with the timings that we've seen on game one that totally crushed their opponents. They got the creeping up in game two and also game three, and then just crushed their opponents. Like they figured out this game mode super.